Now let's look at arithmetic operators present in Python. Python have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponentiation, and floor division operators. Python have following assignment operator. There is direct assignment operator, or assignment operator which performs, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponentiation, floor division, bitwise and, bitwise or, left shift, right shift operation. Also there are equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to operator. Following are logical operators in Python. They are AND, OR, and NOT operator. These operators will take one or two boolean values, and will return single boolean value. These are some special operators. Is operator returns true if both variables are same, or else false and is not operator will return true if both variables are not same, or else it will return false. These are really important membership operator in Python. It checks if any value is present in a sequence or not. See there are some examples, 2 is present in the sequence, so, in, operator will return true, and, not in operator will return false. Then in another example 4 is not present in the sequence, so, in, operator will return false, and not in operator will return true. Next comes bitwise operators, bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise x or, bitwise not, bit, right shift and left shift. Let's take some example, here we add 30 to 10 and prints its value. Notice, in Python, thanks to operator overloading, we can add two string objects to concatenate them. Here we add a and c, and print them. Then add hello and world, store it in variable and print that variable. Let's execute our code to see what we get as output. Notice the string that we added, it get printed as, AC and hello world. Now let's multiply two integers first. We multiply 20 with 10. Then we multiply string A with integer 20, and see what we get. First we get 200 as an output, which was what we expected. But, when we multiply any string object with any integer object, it gets copied that integer value number of times. Here, we multiplied a with 20, so on printing the we get 20 a's as output. Now let's see some more example of in end, not in operator. First we declare list variable, list, with values 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then we use in operator to check if 2 is there in list or not. We'll also check if 10 is in list or not using in and not in operator. See, we got true false true in output, as 2 was there in list, but 10 was not there. 